Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa on Bahrain's winning the West Asian Football Federation Championship 2019 after beating Iraq in the final. The Deputy Premier extended sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King on the well-deserved historic achievement and said that uh, the achievement is thanks to the royal support to the youth and sports sectors. He wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, on Bahrain's winning the West Asian Football Federation Championship 2019 after beating Iraq in the final. The Minister extended sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King on the well-deserved historic achievement and said uh, the achievement is thanks to the royal support to the youth and sports sectors. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness to continue leading the nation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a number of royal family members and senior officials at Ghlaybiya Palace today, where they discussed a number of regional and international topics. His Royal Highness praised the efforts exerted by Saudi Arabia for the success of this year's Hajj season, noting that the facilities it provided to the pilgrims have had a great impact, hailing the atmosphere of comfort and tranquility that has been provided. His Royal Highness said that Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, has been and will continue to be the custodian of Islamic sanctities and that it bears a burden that no other country is capable of carrying. He pointed out that its service of Islam and its honorable positions in defending Arab nations will always be acknowledged. The Prime Minister stressed that anyone who tries to undermine the security and stability of Saudi Arabia is in loss and that all attempts will not undermine its position as the protector of the Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness praised the important role of media and journalism in enlightening the community regarding different regional and international issues. He asserted that communication is a Bahraini value which reflects the cohesion of its society. The Premier also stressed that maintaining the stability of the region is an issue that must be highlighted in a manner that enhances the ability of the region to pursue its development plans and achieve the aspiration of its people. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghlaybiya Palace a number of representatives council members where they discussed and exchanged views on a number of local affairs. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister affirmed that cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities reflects the strong will to achieve the aspirations of the people in various fields. He stressed that the government welcomes the representatives to receive citizens' requests and exchange views on all that concern the country. He stated that that development efforts in the kingdom continue with the concerted efforts between the government and uh, the legislative authority to preserve security and stability in the country and increase the efforts to achieve sustainable development goals. His Royal Highness hailed the efforts of the representatives to do develop the National Action March and develop the legislative system in accordance with the developments in the kingdom in all fields. He stressed the importance of continuing cooperation efforts between the executive and legislative authorities to achieve the aspirations of the citizens expressing satisfaction with the current cooperation between the two authorities. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister noted the importance of the representative's role in expressing the voice of the citizens, affirming his keenness on conducting meetings uh, with the representatives to identify the citizens' uh, needs directly. His Royal Highness noted that the challenges facing the world increase the necessity for awareness and the consideration of the implications that may arise in order to ensure optimal handling. He asserted that Bahrain is part of the world and is affected by the occurrences around it, which calls for speeding up the national action pace to ensure the sustainability of development for the interests of the country and its people. 
For their part, the representatives expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his continuous support, affirming that His Royal Highness is the greatest supporter of the success of the two authorities' work. They conveyed the thanks of the citizens for His Royal Highness's response to their requests through his directives to implement a number of service and developmental projects that contribute to providing the citizens' requirements in all the kingdom's areas. The representatives uh, extended uh, their congratulations to His Royal Highness on the occasion of granting him the Guest of Honor Award for the year 2019 in Norway and on the occasion of the General Assembly's adoption of His Royal Highness's initiative to declare April 5th of each year an International Day of Conscience. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa on Bahrain's winning the West Asian Football Federation Championship 2019 after beating Iraq in the final. The Deputy Premier extended sincere congratulations to His Royal Highness on the well-deserved historic achievement and said the achievement is thanks to the royal support to the youth and sports sectors. He wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, on Bahrain's winning the West Asian Football Federation Championship 2019 after beating Iraq in the final. The Minister extended sincere congratulations to His Royal Highness on the well-deserved historic achievement and said the achievement is thanks to the royal support to the youth and sports sectors. He wished His Royal Highness abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa on Bahrain's winning the West Asian Football Federation Championship 2019 after beating Iraq in the final. The Deputy Premier extended sincere congratulations to His Royal Highness on the well-deserved historic achievement and said the achievement is thanks to the royal support to the youth and sports sectors. He wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, on Bahrain's winning the West Asian Football Federation Championship 2019 after beating Iraq in the final. The Minister extended sincere congratulations to His Royal Highness on the well-deserved historic achievement and said the achievement is thanks to the royal support to the youth and sports sectors. He wished His Royal Highness Highness, abundant health and happiness. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in a ceremony held in Khartoum yesterday to conclude a landmark deal to pave the way for the transition to civilian rule in Sudan. He conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to the head of the Transitional Military Council, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah Al Burhan. He also conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The Minister expressed sincere congratulations on this important occasion that would move the country towards stability and peace and meet the aspirations of the Sudanese people. He also commended the awareness, responsibility and keenness of all the parties on preserving the higher interests of Sudan that uh, culminated in this great achievement. He reiterated the support of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Sudan in its efforts and endeavors that help it overcome this important phase of its history, preserve its sovereignty, security and national unity and proceed with its usual role in supporting the joint Arab action. He affirmed the keenness of Bahrain to reinforce its deep-rooted relations with Sudan at all levels for the good interests of the two countries and their people. The minister had arrived earlier in Sudan, where acting Minister of Foreign Affairs Omar Fadl was at the forefront of those who welcomed him on arrival.